hey, 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 it's Monkey Puzzle and Nilo Rio somewhere around here, and we're back with more... Monkey Wrenching the Beast! Hey, there you are, Monkey Wrenching the Beast! And things are a little different this time, uh, because uh, we're two weeks uh, ahead, two, two weeks in the future from the last time you saw us. If you saw our last episode, number 31, even though that just went up yesterday, uh, this is two weeks after that, because we just got so into playing that uh, we just recorded hours and hours and hours of footage, and then we're like, oh man, we're never going to get all through all this. Uh, so we kind of held back from playing for the most part until we could get caught up. So now we are in the present. You can leave a comment below and we'll actually probably see it before we put up the next episode. So, and something else is different now too. We've updated. This is now no longer the uh, FTB 1.4.2 Beta A pack. We're now in the Direwolf pack. That's right, the Dire Wolf 20 version 5. So we've got, uh, besides all the good stuff he's got in there, we've also got now, he just added Twilight Forest and Extra Bees. We're doing the one from the little drop down menu, so uh, that's not copyright, we can say it. Um, uh, so tomorrow is Monday when it gets officially released, so we might do a force update then, but we're in it, and we managed to migrate our whole old world save, so we don't have to start new, and as far as I can tell, everything's good. Uh, the one problem we ran into is that uh, he doesn't have advanced machines in his, and we had lots of advanced machines, so I went ahead and added it to the pack, and then cheated back in just the machines that we made just to kind of fix things back up. So we've got advanced machines with the rotary macerators and the uh, singularity compressors and the centrifuge extractors because um, I like those. But uh, we lost all our Greg Tech stuff, which wasn't that much, but we're okay. Uh, over there in the, uh, the quarry, which uh, we got to set up again, uh, we're now, we've finished our ninth quarry. That's one of the things that we did while I was doing all that editing, is just let the quarry run and run and run and run. Um, so the solar panels change from the advanced solar panels to uh, low voltage solar arrays, but they still give the same amount of power and they replace themselves, so cool with that. Um, oh yeah, I was going to go over there, but uh, First is the results of the quarrying while <laughs> while we've been while we were editing and uh, catching you up with us is uh, we're pretty darn rich now. Uh, there's definitely no lack of stuff. The gold was still the scarcest, but uh, we've got plenty of it. We had to make blocks of a lot of stuff in the, these ingots in order to have room. Uh, Lost our sapphires. We had a chest full of sapphires, but uh, that was a Greg Tech thing, so we'll just have to live without them. But uh, yeah, we got all this stuff uh, from the nine quarries. Uh, more redstone over there. A whole diamond chest full of obsidian, and another one starting. Uh, a bit more naturally mined iridium. Uh, Twelve of them. Uh, actually, let's just take that now for something we need to do in a little bit. Um, 37 diamonds from that last one, and then the uh, rest of them are over here. We've got another three stacks and 17, and then there's one in the, um, the uh, one more in this ender chest. We made some ender chests, which now have a lot more compartments since we updated, but you didn't see it before when it was just like a little 3x3. Three three. Uh, another change in the quarry we made while we'll, since then is uh, instead of piping all the way to the quarry now, we're now pulling out of ender chests. Uh, but now we're going to get to change all this too. We've got uh, red power and um, what do you call those uh, pipes in red power? The um, neither. Uh, the what you call them? The the, the 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 those brown ones. Pneumatic tubes. That we got pneumatic tubes and relays and filters and sorting machines and all these things that we're going to have to figure out how to use. But uh, liquiducts. Oh, we got liquiducts now that we can make, and we've got Thomcraft. We can uh, press sh shift over our stuff and see what their aspects are, and so 
Yeah, we've got Thomcraft and Red Power and all kinds of new stuff. And also, speaking of Thomcraft, yeah. come up. You know where that that chest with the blueprint above it is? Uh huh. Go over there. Oh, hold on a second. I was over here. I was about to show people all the UU matter that we acquired. Okay. Uh, while we uh, were were editing and all that stuff, so we've got just a ton of it now, um, and we could make more at any time. Um, and what were you gonna show us, Nilo, over here? Okay. So, follow me. So fly up right above the blueprint chest. Uh huh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we managed to regen our world with the uh, Thomcraft ores. So there's some amber. Is that what that is? Yeah. Either that or cinnabar. I don't know. Okay. Uh, well, the thing I got from it is amber. Um, Thomcraft is great that way. Uh, over here, down in our uh, utility tunnels, you can check out. Uh, I saw a whole bunch of regen of uh, Thomcraft ores. Uh, let me see, there were some down here, right? This one... No, I guess that's the wrong tunnel. Uh, I saw a whole bunch of them. But just went into the, the config file and told it true on uh, regenerating a bunch of stuff. And it did it. Where is that? I know there was a whole mess of it. Here's some. Here we go. So what's that? That's water infused stone or something like that? Yeah. And we got our first. Did you grab it? Toss, yep. toss it over. Our first, uh, what is it? A water, water shard. shard. All right. And there was some more of this kind of stuff uh, somewhere over here. We saw a bunch of the green ones and the red one. Uh, let me see. More! Here we go. Some purple ones. Uh, so we, we, the red power ores, we're not going to have. And, uh, I don't know what's going to happen to, like, the sapphires and stuff that were naturally generated before. I suppose they're just gone. Um, but, uh, yeah, the world regen is not going to be too much of a problem at all. Uh, so pretty excited about that. So we made a pretty seamless transition, I'd say. And now we can catch up with our friends who were playing, who updated all long ago <laughs> and while we were still messing around on our 1.4.2. But yeah, now we even have more stuff to learn and more stuff to do with Thomcraft and Red Power. And we can uh, be using our diamond saws to cut stuff up into panels and, and uh, little strips and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so that's our update. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, so, Nila, where'd you go? Collecting more um, Thomcraft stuff. Okay. So, one of the first things we want to do, we were waiting to do till we caught up, is uh, we want to make ourselves some quantum armor. And that's going to prepare us for any other adventures that we have ahead of us. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and set that up. You know, and I think we're going to try to go all the way to gravity suit chest plates. Why not? I mean, we must have enough stuff we need at this point. So we're going to get all that stuff together and then come back to y'all when uh, we got, we're we ready for that. And there's so many things we're going to want to do. I've got a list of things uh, I was just pulling up to check out, uh, like quantum armor and gravity suit chest plates and uh, we need to go to Twilight Forest right off and check it out because we've just been dying to do that. And I got to make wrath lamps and I want to play with terraformers and do thomcrafts. And oh, yeah, we need to make a link modifier <laughs> right away. <laughs> link modifier and assembly tables. And oh my gosh, so many things. So, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to get the things together that we need to make uh, the quantum armor and gravity suit chest plates and show you that. All right. Oh, and uh, yeah, our world anchors are no longer working. Uh, that one's just art. But uh, uh, over here, they are now demanding ender pearls, which we don't have a whole lot of. We haven't gone to the end or anything like that. So, oh, and we probably have soul shards now too, um, which actually I kind of 
I don't know if I'm that excited about Soul Shards. It's, I feel like that's a little OP, but maybe we'll see if we go there. I want to just maybe use all these tools and things just to make, take full advantage of the um, of the of the of the uh, spawners that already exist in this world. So we'll see. Uh, like an Enderman spawner just seems a little bit hmm hmm hmm, but maybe we'll see. Um, but yeah, I gotta we gotta replace all those with the uh, chicken bones chunk loaders. So lots of stuff to do, but we're here and we made it across the update gap with our old world. So that's very exciting. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm still talking. So we're gonna do what we said, and we'll see you then. <laughs> Nilo has something to show you before we start. He's been eating uh, shards. <laughs> I'm glad those didn't stay in your system too long. Woohoo! New stuff. New, st yeah. new stuff. One little thing I'm doing in prep, and uh, let me see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, there it goes. I could have remembered that. Um, so I'm going to make a diamond sickle. And this is a red power thing. Um, and I'm going to use it because I need some indigo flowers uh, for how we're going to set up our crafting of our quantum armor here. So let me just uh, get outside here in the dark. It's hopefully not a terribly bad idea. Let's make sure there's no real, real bad explosive guys here. Um, and so indigo flowers are naturally generated, but uh, since we missed that when we set up here, we just need to uh, look for them with some bone milling. And apparently this, there we go, it harvests like whole big areas of grass and leaves at once. So it really speeds up uh, the harvesting of things. I'm, I'm left clicking, which is I think what I'm supposed to do, because right clicking doesn't do anything. Uh, so let's just bone meal some more stuff, and those are the ones I'm looking for. Oh, hi. Let me get ready for you. Oops. There you go. Okay. Uh, I think these are the ones I'm looking for. Let's see. Let me check those out. Oh, I got too much stuff on me. Oh, Hennekin seeds. New stuff. No, no. That's it. Indigo flowers. So this, anyway, wanted to show you guys that, and I'm going to get some more of those, and we'll be ready for you soon. All right, and we're back, and I uh, think we're ready to make a full suit of quantum armor. What do you think, Nilo? We should do it. Okay, I think we got it together. We stopped at quantum armor. We are going to do the gravity suit chest plates. It's just there's a lot of steps to it. It's not that we lack the materials. Um, it's just a bit complicated, and it's school night for Nilo, and we want to just celebrate by getting this done. So... Uh, we've got a new thing here. We've got project tables from Red Power. So they're kind of like the auto crafting tables, but a little different. Um, you got your crafting space in here and a little inventory space down here, which is really cool. But you can make these, which are plans. Now, a lot of these things I don't really need plans for, but I just wanted to be able to get through this crafting real quick with you all and just kind of show some of these new features. So we're going to make a bunch of energy crystals to start with. And I think we need... Uh, 14 to start with so uh, let me see I think can I just do that BAM <laughs> how many did I get one two oh I got one more diamond left so there we go okay so that's 14 energy crystals uh, let me put those back in there I may need to put a couple after that but uh, let's make some nano suit boots next there they are we're gonna need one and two there we go we've got two nano suit boots and the next thing uh, wait, is nano suit leggings. I'm going to need one of those and two of those. That's so cool how quick that goes. Why do we need two? Oh, we didn't need two. Darn it, I just messed up the numbers. Oh well, we'll get by. Because uh, uh, Nido already has a pair of quantum suit leggings, so we shouldn't have made those. Um, but uh, we'll just have them as a spare for when we die <laughs> or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we'll be a little off at the end here, probably. Uh, so we've got extra leggings. Uh, and then we need a chest plate, or they're calling it body armor. We definitely need two of those, right? One, yeah. two. And then uh, finally, we need the helmets. 
So now we're going to be short on carbon plates, so we'll be back. All right, coming back with the uh, carbon plates. One of the cool things of Dire Wolf's pack so far, too, some of my old glitches seem to be gone. The uh, So far, the portals keep working, which is awesome. And also, when I go into hover mode in my with my jet pack, it hasn't crashed yet. But anyway, uh, let's go back to this. So you can get the rest of our uh, carbon plates, because I use a little extra there. And there we go, we need one and two nano suit helmets. We got all that. So, and uh, let me see, do we have enough uh, for our Lapatrons? Actually, we need to make, I think at this point, we used up one extra, so we need to make one more uh, energy crystal uh, for the. Um, because uh, blah, 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 for the lapatrons we're gonna make next so there's one more energy crystal good to go and by the way these plans are uh, what I use the indigo dye for if you take paper and the indigo dye and that came from those indigo flowers of course that I got with that sickle you get blank plans that we can use to uh, to make these and if you you know you're gonna make something you can just put that plan in there um, and when you make uh, a crafting recipe for something, you just press this button right here and you get the full plan. I'm not going to press it because I already made that one, but just wanted to show you all how that worked. If you didn't know that already, I'm sure a lot of you already do. Um, so let's take all this stuff as much as we can over to the next table. You want to help, Nilo? Grab the... Okay. There's uh, two, actually I could just dump some stuff here, I can just do this, bump, bump, and I think that's what we need, uh, pretty sure. Um, if we need anything else, I can come back and grab it, but, okay, so, next project table. We're going to, first thing we're going to make is, uh, let's start with a bunch of Lapatrons. We need seven Lapatrons, so that's what these go. Uh, so there's one. Do to do stuff getting all over the place. We need that and that. So Lapatrons. Get some of these back up there. More Lapatrons and get that last one up there. And uh, do we have seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all we're gonna need. So we got a whole bunch of Lapatrons. And next thing after that is let's make some iridium ore. This is what we've been waiting for with uh, all the, you know, f well, the quarrying wasn't just for that, but uh, it leads to this. So uh, this is the remainder of the naturally mined iridium ore, just for the record, is 12. Uh, but now we're going to make all this up. Boom. And we can make some more. Boom. <laughs> So how much does that give us? That gives us 73 we just made, uh, and we needed 72, so we're good. Um, and that is so now we can make iridium plates. Uh, so we're going to need a whole bunch of advanced alloy, which we made, I think it's over here. So let's bring that back over here. I think we're going to need to bring some of it back again. Um, and we got our diamonds up there. So the iridium plates, I figured out we're going to need 18. So we're going to limit that with the diamonds right there. Kabloom! We got 18 iridium plates just like that. And that was quite expensive, but it's made and we had it. So then let's take all this stuff over to the next table. Get all this stuff in there. And uh, I think, what else? We got two of those. Anything else we need from over here? Um, I think we're good. Do we have all seven? Lap you, do you have the rest of the Lapatrons, Nilo? Yes. Okay. All right. So you'll put them in here as we need them. So I didn't make plans for the uh, quantum armor because we didn't have the stuff to make the plans with. Uh, but we'll just do it one at a time here. Um, and you can't press the question mark uh, to get to the project table, so you actually have to have a memory for this at this point. So we got the Lapatron in the middle, the boots on either side, Iridium plates, and the Nano boots. So 
Uh, let's try to do that. Um, oh, we will need that in a minute. Uh, might as well go ahead and make that now. Get that out of the way. Um, where did the rest of the alloy go? Do you have that, Nilo? Oh, here it is. Okay. So let's put some alloy in here. Uh, we'll put it there. Oh, we need that too. I'll take one of those out. And we just need uh, four pieces of this, I think. So hopefully seven is plenty. We'll place that. That can go away. Um, and then, let me see, our boots, they looked like that and like that and like that. Might as well put full two of those there and like that. No? What did I do wrong? Nano, rubber, iridium plate, quantum suit boots, right? Nano, rubber, iridium plate, Lapatron. Can you see what I'm doing wrong, Nilo? I'm going to check. Let's see, rubber boots, Lapatron, nano suit boots, iridium plates. And. No, I see nothing wrong. Why is that not working? Does it not work? It should work on a project table, right? Yeah. Very interesting, folks. We'll have to figure out why that's not working. That's not charged. Those are rubber. That's nano suit boots, iridium plates. That can't be it. Huh. Uh, well, let's try it in a uh, regular crafting bench. crafting bench. So let's take all that stuff that we need and take some of it over here. See if we can pull that off. Can I make mine? Uh, let me just see if we can pull this off, man. Let's go. Let's see. The okay, and then we got that in the middle. And then the two iridium plates. Oh, it works here. Cool. Yes, you can make yours. So let me give you your stuff. Okay. You got boots, and you got um, nano suit boots, and you need two iridium plates, and a lapatron. I have a lapatron. Okay. And you want to give me that back? Too late. Okay, so that is the. Oops. It won't make. Uh, made just fine for me. I got quantum suit boots right here. It won't work. Okay, we figured it out. That wasn't so hard. That was just part of the migration issues. Our rubber boots had the wrong item ID, which we'll just have to keep a lookout for that in the future with the changeover. But I just swapped them out in cheat mode and gave ourselves the stock rubber boots now. So, But, you know, they're legit. We made them. So, but this now they just have the right number attached to them, and ta-da! See, before when it got to work, I just must have done it with the new rubber boots I'd made, and we were trying to do it with the old pair that we'd made in the previous version. But ta-da! Quantum suit boots. Where are you, Nilo? There's your boots. Woohoo! Yay! Yeah! -ha. And so now we're going to be on to um, the. Let's get back to the quantum stuff. Uh, let me see, we need to make one pair of pants, because uh, uh, Nilo's got pants already. So, you know, and plus, since I have all this stuff on me, <laughs> I'm going to leave these guys and go to here. So, my poor old memory can cheat like that. I like it like that. Okay, so, and we have one extra pair of the uh, nano suit leggings, but that's okay. So, there we go. Now I can run as fast as Nilo. Oh yeah. And then now we're going to make a couple uh, of these uh, quantum suit body armors. So here we go. We got the Lapatrons. We're going to fill these up with uh, all these nice iridium plates we've got. And we've got the uh, advanced alloy. And we've got two nano suit body armors ready to go so there's one woohoo and there is the second and we need another one of those in there and kablawi we're set where are you Nilo? here you go 
You want your chest plate? There it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Now and then, I'm resistant to fire. Let's see if I have everything I need for the helmet. I've got that. I've got... I'm short one iridium plate, looks like. Um, and I think there's, I'm ready to go. Did I leave any behind? There's one in the project, in the first project table. There we go. Alright, now we've got everything. So, helmets we got. So we've got, we need two pieces of that reinforced glass. I don't mind having extra. I love glass proof glass. And we've got our fancy hard to get iridium plates. We're just blowing through all that iridium that we created in just a few minutes. Um, and then there is an issue. <laughs> Why not? Okay, what's wrong this time? Iridium plates, Lapatron, reinforced glass. Okay, who's got the wrong numbers? Let's see. Oh my goodness. All right, I have to figure this out, out, out. So that should be... All right, I'm going to figure out these numbers and get back to you folks. All right, it was uh, our mistake again. These are supposed to be advanced circuits. So we can fix that really quick in our little advanced circuit maker over here. Uh, it's this one. Let's see. We, oh, we already have a couple made, so we can just grab those. And now it'll definitely work, and I can do it right here. So jumpa, jumpa, jumpa. Quantum suit helmet. And now we're going to put the right circuits in, the advanced circuits. Put our two pieces of reinforced glass, uh, divide up our four iridium plates, put a helmet in there, and a Lapatron. Doo doo! Quantum suit helmet. And then another Lapatron, and another nano suit helmet. Ta da! We both now have full quantum suits. Nilo. Oh, you're looking mighty fine. Here you go. Thank you. Yep, Thank now you. we need to charge all this stuff up. So I'm going to put a couple things in here. So apparently the beauty of these things is uh, they don't take damage. Oh, you got yours in there? Um, I'll just talk while these things are charging. I have a place I can go put something in over here. Uh, instead they lose charge. And they can protect you from everything. They can even protect you from drowning and from hunger. As long as they have charge. And all those things will gradually use the charge up. Poison, any kind of negative effects you can think of, I think for the most part, uh, will be covered with these. Um, I think you have to charge them up in MFSUs. I'm not sure. Uh, do we even have an MFE to test here? Yeah, well, this one right there. Nope has to be an MFSUs. And you're completely resistant to fire and fall damage and drowning. Right? I think you could even swim in lava for a while. And you, hunger. Until you use all your charge up. So, pretty OP, if you ask me. But hey, I don't mind. Um, you know, if I was really alive in this world, would I want to die? No. <laughs> and you do, you are dependent on always having power with you to pull it off. Um, so that's also a limitation you know without power you're vulnerable again I wonder uh, without it if this is just like equivalent to diamond armor or something just on its own without the other the other buffs that you get from it um, anyway folks we're gonna get this all charged up we're gonna run around for a little bit and try to hurt ourselves and then we'll sign off so see you at the try to hurt ourselves part all right, there it is, fully suited out. There's Nilo. He looks like some kind of weird uh, Robo Knights. Here we gotta check this out. <laughs> is that you shooting at me? Yeah, with my laser arm. Ah, uh, quantum suit, quantum suit. Now, how do I run super fast? You have to sprint. Huh? And if you I have to sprint. If I sprint, woo! So I don't have to do the little boost thing? Wow! I'm <laughs> just booking. Not for running. 
What's that for? Jumping? Jumping. So here's a jump right now. And what do I press? Control? Left control. Woohoo! Boink! I can hit my head on the ceiling. What else can I do? Can I go underwater? And, uh. Yes, and you won't jump. So my bubbles don't last any longer. And so we're going to see what happens when I get to the end of my bubbles. Oh, wait! They came back. So I don't even have to, like, go the ooh, ooh, ooh. And oh. what's that doing to my charge each time? I guess that's using up a little bit of charge, huh? Doesn't seem like a whole lot. That's not bad. Woo. Oh, yeah, I'm still thinking I can fly. Can't quite fly. There we go. But we will as soon as we have those uh, chest plates. And I'm like all awkward because I like <laughs> go too fast and I run into things. Um, here, let's make a hole with some lava in it. Uh, that won't do. Okay. Uh, here, we'll just make a little hole right here and let me grab a bucket. Ooh, I gotta stop sprinting now because I keep running into things. I guess I have a bucket around here somewhere. Here we go. Okay, let's grab some lava. I did it again. I went too far. I gotta get used to this. Alright, what happens? Be careful. Watch your hearts. How did it do? Oh, so you get hurt in fire when you're on fire out of lava. My, my hearts aren't going down. But get out? Uh-huh. Oh. So I'm you're not die. so you're not resistant against fire. I have three hearts. Oh wow! So it protects you against lava, but not fire. Very interesting. That's kind of weak. <laughs> but I guess uh, lava is harder to die from. I mean, easier to die from anyway. But it won't protect you against blazes. Oh man! Let me try that again. Okay, yeah, the hearts are staying fine. It's using up charge, a big chunk of charge each time, but still not too bad because it holds too much, or so much. But yeah, now it's just going down at like the regular pace. And it's not using up any charge as I burn to death. So we are not protected against fire. I want my money back. <laughs> I think we'll survive. Um, but so we still need uh, fire resistance potions when we fight blazes and such. So it's a little too bad, but that's not too bad. Anything else we can do? Nilo, where'd you go? Alright, we've lost Nilo to AFK. I don't think so. Is that it? Yeah. Wow. And I've heard when you're running... Uh, oops, if you like run and jump with control or something like that, you like just go crazy nuts forward. Let's see. The whole control, whoops. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, there's the run. Let me get a good start here again. Okay, here we go. Okay, press control and jump. Wham, wham, whoa! <laughs> that was nuts. Have you tried that? Uh, Nilo, no. Nilo's running across water. How does that work? Whoa. That's pretty strange. If you hold spacebar, right? Yeah. That's a trip. Oops. But did you try this? Like, get a full run going. And then do the control jump. Wham! Mm -hmm. Bam! Whoa. Bam! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I hit the opposite wall. <laughs> Alright, folks. Well, we're having too much fun now. Anyway, we're going to go uh, run around. Oh, I wish it was nighttime. And go let a creeper explode next to us. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna let it be night, and, uh, we'll join you one more time before we sign out on this one. Alright, back here by the Savannah base. Whoop.
Let's see, I gotta remember how to do this. <laughs> it's gonna take me a minute to really get good with these controls, so BAM! Alright, I'm gonna let these guys <laughs> Did you take any damage? Not yet. Hi spider. What are you gonna do? Damage. Okay, hi creeper. Not one heart lost. We're gonna have some holes to fix though. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Was there that a creeper there? Oh, wait, one more hole. <laughs> I don't want to wreck our landscape. You know, I haven't seen an angry, uh, angry zombie yet. Oh, yeah. But, uh,. It's using up charge, but uh, I've got a whole gang trying to beat beat up on me. I'm getting full of arrows. Found one. You, oh, you found an angry zombie? Yep. Alright, enough of these guys. I have a whole bunch of zombies in the skeleton chase. Angry zombies. Where are they? Oh, there you are. That's not. I don't see an angry one, though. One of those like those red-eyed Herobrine ones. Yeah. You saw one? Yeah. Yep. Wow! <laughs> oh, here they are. Oh, awesome. So, can you make a minium stone with that? These guys are still just two hits with the uh, nano saber. Whoop. Okay, we get a sprint going. We need eight pieces of inert stone, which is pretty cheap. So once we get eight um minium, mini um shard of miniums, then we can make a um minium stone. <laughs> it's pretty fun just letting these guys beat up on me, and you know it's not taking in away any durability from the armor. You can just charge it up again. It's just they're using my using up our power. That's all. So who gives shards of minium or whatever they are? What are they called? Shards of minium. Do all the mobs give them? Yes. Woo! All right. Well, I'm gonna have to get a little bit more experience at using these things. It's funny, like when you're sprinting and you jump, you go really fast at first. Whoa! Wait. Let me try that again. Bam! 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 <laughs> the sprinting eventually stops though. Bam! Like you can't just uh, spam space and keep sprinting, or can you? I can. I guess you can, yeah. Wham! Here we go, one more time. Whoops. Come on, sprint. Bam! Oh man, you just kind of leap all over. It's like using those uh, those portal gun jump plates. <laughs> That's too cool. All right, well obviously we're having too much fun, and we will see you next episode when we're having even more. Thanks for joining us, coming with us all this way, and it's just upgrade, upgrade, uh, da, da, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade from here on. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo. laughs> Bye, folks. Actually, I'm <laughs> back one more time. One more thing I haven't tried is testing for fall damage. So let's see if we get any. My boots are getting pretty low, but uh, I still have 100,000 EU in there. I mean, that's got to be good for something, right? So let me see. Let me hold control. Sprint. Jump off into the air <laughs> through the clouds. Bam! Not a heart or a fraction of a heart missing. Woohoo! <laughs> Blame. Alright. See you later, folks. You Boom! Oh, I died! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> One more after.
afterthought, folks. Uh, I thought we'd do something a little different uh, to close this one out, just to uh, celebrate the update and being able to keep our old world and everything and all our achievements. Play some nice tunes in our new jukebox uh, with this nice record we found. Oh yeah, let's exit out of here a little slinky style. Okay, see you next time. <laughs>